What is it that you have that's unique that you want to bring to this brand? Why do they want to work with you? Why would they want to work with you over everyone else that they get a pitch deck from? Welcome back. Today I want to run through with you guys about a pitch deck, how I go about pitch decks and how I think they help getting your next potential client. So firstly, pitch decks are a really good way to create a nice scene of images or a collection of images on a program which I use Canva and that's free as well. So you can use a program like Canva or Envato Elements and, and you can get templates and things like that. There's a lot of different software that you can use. And what it is, is a collection of images that aligns with the brand that you're trying to pitch to. Okay, so let's take a bit of a scroll through here. I have, so my name, photography, videography, portfolio, and you've got a link to your website. So you can also create a link to your website. So then that client that you've pitched to can go straight to your website and continue to, to look at more of your gallery, which is really helpful. Um, I've started off with a bit about me. So you've got my, my blurb, a bit of information, um, the services I provide, which is important. You want to make things very clear. And then you can continue to scroll down. So I've got a picture of me. So it's, like it's, it's good to have a picture of yourself. So that brand, whoever it is, can just see what you look like. And it's, it's good to just put a name to the face. And then on the left-hand side, just a lifestyle shot of a surfer. And then we can scroll down here to fashion. So I've just got a few different images of some fashion images. I recently pitched to a couple of brands on Instagram and I haven't heard back from them. So, you know, it's, 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 it's all about a numbers game. You've just got to continue to pitch, continue to put out your work, keep shooting, keep building that portfolio and like try and build client relationships. That's what this creative industry is about. It's building the client relationships. Um, you may get one yes out of 10 pitches and it's just how it goes. Or you might also want to like get out and do spec work and spend some money on actually buying some clothes and then going out and shooting with a friend and then creating a portfolio. Like we have to go that extra mile to try and get the work. It's not just going to come to us. So we have to create spec work, make our pitch decks look fancy and, and really go that extra effort to get out there and shoot and create like a campaign type scenario. And that's what will stand out. Aaron Brimhall spends like five to $10,000 on, on spec work. He'll hire an Alfa Romeo, hire a model, and they'll go out and just shoot. He'll go out and spend heaps of money and get the car, get the model, and just go out to an epic location. And that's his spec work. He's obviously got a lot of money, but that's what you can work towards, is just hiring or buying some clothing um, and going out there and shooting that product. So then we can go down into fashion. So we've got a, a mate of mine who's a male model. And then we've got Jody here, a bit of like movement shots, a couple of other girls here that I've shot with. Um, and then we continue down to, I'm gonna zoom in here, continue to lifestyle. So then we've got Jordan here, lifestyle work I've done for some shelter brand, which is a brewery company in Bustledon near where I live. Uh, I've done a job here for Let's Go Campers where we went out and camped. Um, we've also got so a nice little portrait there, uh, Ben at, out at Perkalili. I think that's, um, yeah, he's got the Red Wings on there. So we, we sort of, we sent that to Red Wings as well. And we sent a whole bunch of images to Red Wings. And once you do get that client relationship, you really can start to like build that relationship and send them photos and they'll potentially send you, that they send us boots now and it's such a good relationship. So it's kind of like a contra deal and, and it's epic. So they send us like really nice boots, we choose the boots and then we send, send them the photos and then we'll go out and shoot. Um, and then, so once they send us the boots, we'll go out again and shoot again and just create like this cool campaign around some sort of lifestyle and they love it. So it's a really cool way to just gain that traction with a potential client and just show them what you can do. So then we can go down to lifestyle. I've got more lifestyle stuff. Again, shelter, perka lily. Yep, so then we continue to go. There's Ben. Again, these are other shoots I've done out at perka lily at the race. This one here, really cool photo. I love this photo of this guy just sipping on his slushy on an old car. Uh, that's for shelter. That is for a lagoon cafe and yelling up. Um, more shelter work. And then I've, in the pitch, it's also good to share who you've worked with. So I've also worked with Saint 
and we, we sort of collaborated with them when we went out to Perkalili as well to race the race car. And they, they, they sent us some jackets and vests and jumpers and all sorts of things. So we, we, we put them on and we, we got, yeah, we created a lot of lifestyle photos around that, which is really cool. So we've got Ben here on the cloak, like on the bike. Um, he's got his vest on, he's got his jacket on. Again, when you're shooting, like look at this photo here, he's got the Yakuba on. When you're shooting, like really dress up your character. That helps as well on your campaign or your spec work that you're gonna do. Location, character, event. Dress up your character. Pick a cool location. Create a little bit extra to create your character. I love hats. Hats just bring out a bit more character in your model or talent. And then an event. So create something in that story or narrative. So like, what are they doing? So just think about it when you're going out to do your next shoot or lifestyle shoot and pretend campaign, location, character, event. All those three things align to a really good photo shoot that can tell a powerful story. And so here he is on the bike, he's riding the bike. Look at that character there, like, and I decided it looks such like a nice, like a pretty cool, uh, it looks like this mid fifties or something like that. So I edited it in Lightroom, made it black and white. Um, because of that, that stripy saint top that they sent us. He's got the Red Wings boots on. He's got the old kind of style um, goggles and the, and the helmet. And I just thought that was really cool. So edit your photos accordingly as well. I think it's quite important. And then if we scroll down, I've got another uh, Body Pulse Pilates, which is a Pilates shoot I did a little while ago with Lisa. Really beautiful spot. like. If I'm pitching to like sort of like activewear companies, like I'll, I'll 100% use this, like these photo shoots, these shots here, because they're like really nice and clean. And I like them, and she's incredible. Like that flexibility and um, super toned, and just looks really professional. I think so. I, I love that photo shoot there we did down in Esperance in this nice little studio, super clean with nice light coming in the sides as well. And then I've done some work for a model, Rebecca, who wanted some photos for Calvin Klein kids to send to them. So I created a few photos with her and then sent them through. And then I've got a few, again, some links to some video work I've done. So local video work. So we've got Chiller's Drinks, which is a, a beverage company. We have Eagle Bay Brewery, which is yeah, a beautiful brewery around here. And we have Margaret River Muesli, which is some muesli. So I did a video for them as well. And you can all click on all these links and watch them straight up. Um, and then at the bottom, I've got uh, a good friend of mine, Emmett Sparling, who is an incredible photographer that I went out and did a conference with that he held in Canada. And that's what got me going in photography. He has helped me through like a lot of things. So it's, it's also very good to get a mentor, get someone that you can coach, that can coach you or a mentor or someone you can speak to, to just continue to grow as a photographer and a creative because it's super important. Some unbiased feedback or some like an alternative opinion on your own work, I think is really important to keep moving forward. And that con constructive criticism also helps. And these, finally, these are the clients I've worked for. Some clients that I'm happy with, like Canon, Shelter, Elders, big agriculture company in Australia. Um, Otis, Red Wings, I probably could update this as well actually. Um, so that's what I've finished up on. And this can all be done in Canva, which is really, really cool. So if you wanna go here, just go create a design, create a design, doc. And there you go, you have, there's an example there. And you can literally just start bringing in photos. Like you write, Okay, photography, pitch, deck, you know, and just try and like, you might be able to get a designer to help you or someone to like kind of send it back and forth to, um, but you can literally just go, yep, cool, do that, and then press the plus. I think this is new. You might be able to add some photos here, embed. So you can embed, that's where I think you where you embed the link to your website or other links that you want to embed, Instagram, something like that. Um, and you can also just, oh, what photos do I have? This is Jordan. Let's just randomly use this. Bring it in, click, drag, job done. 
And let's say this is like Jordan when he, after he did a bunch of doughies up in Percolilli and it was wet in the mud. So you can just adjust your photo size accordingly, bring it down like that. And um, yeah, you just want to continue. You just want to start adding in, adding in some photos. If you want, you can move these around a little bit. So we'll go here, uh, let's zoom in here. You can like sort of lower that a little bit, bring that up, move it around, bring it in. Yeah, you just got to play around a little bit and and Canva does the job and, I, and I, I'm pretty sure it's free. So go out and shoot, get your gallery, get your portfolio and then bring that into a, a document in Canva, line up your photos, whoever you're pitching to, try and like really narrow it down, get a lot of variety of photos. If it's a shoe company, like get a lot of wide shots, doing some things, tights on the on the shoes, like really like get a lot of dynamic photos. And that's the best thing to get started. And then just start firing it off to brands. Who 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 does who do you align with? Like what type of photos are you are you taking and, and what style and what style are you use are you are you shooting in? Um, and you'll know like think about what clothes you wear. Like what what type of clothes you wear. You could just go out and shoot for like Carhartt, for example. Um, it would be quite a hard client, but you know, somewhere like that, just go buy some, buy or rent some clothes or what do you, whatever you need to do to get it done. How bad do you want it? You have to ask yourself, how bad do you want this? How bad do you want that client? Take massive action to go out and shoot for that client and pretend that is the campaign. Come in, bring it back in, make that, make the pitch deck, put it together nicely and send it off and see what happens and then do another one for someone else. Just pick like five of your favorite brands, bring in their clothes, bring in their whatever it is, um, put it together in a pitch deck in Canva and send it off. And that'll just get the ball rolling and you'll just get some feedback about it as well. Like, and then you can just narrow it down, clean it up a little bit and just keep moving forward. And in the meantime, continue to shoot, like continue to practice because practice makes perfect. So this, this is my, pitch deck that I've used to get a few clients um, within the fashion and lifestyle industry. So I have here the pitch deck that we used for Red Wings to get, as when we were going out to Perka Lily, I wanted to, we, me and Ben and Jordan wanted to pitch to Red Wings. So someone asked about this on my, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, I was talking about pitch deck and getting how I got Red Wings. This is it. Um, we put this pitch deck together and it's just gonna, I've just uh, pre-recorded a little bit of the, the deck here, which I'm gonna run through it here. And this is basically it. We've got the car, we have, we got, I uh, shot this car, um, I shot this car uh, a couple of years ago. It's about who we are, it's Ben and Jordan, it's the Bennett's crew, it's more work, it's a bit of more work. Um, some photos I've taken, photos of Jordan and Bennett's. So it's, it's bringing that portfolio present that portfolio to that potential client. It's about the build and what we'll be doing. It's about the inspiration, um, the road trip that we're gonna go on and what we're gonna do. We're gonna go visit some Aboriginal kids in the community. Uh, there was a photo of me there and a bit of more of my photo work and my video work. And there's a nice shot of Red Wings boots there that we shot in the workshop. So it's it's get deep. It's, it's the more vulnerable you are, like the better. It's like, tell your story on what you wanna present. What is it that you have that's unique that you want to bring to this brand? Why do they want to work with you? Why would they want to work with you over everyone else that they get a pitch deck from? So create something unique, something special, something deep that's like really personable and that's that will catch their attention. Obviously you need a very good portfolio, like it's clean portfolio and good, good amount of images um, to present to them. But what goes deeper is that story, that inspiration uh, to, to want to work with that potential client. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next one.